With this technical analysis, part 35, we are starting a live swing trading example using the stock GCI. Idea is that you follow the trade evolution, systematically learning to apply technical analysis techniques. Receiving live trade signals is possible from an RSS link at stoccata.org. Please note this is not an invitation to trade the stock. Information given is to be used for training purposes only. Stoccata.org will not accept liability for any loss or damage which may arise directly or indirectly from use of or reliance on this information. Pay a visit to my website at stoccata.org and buy my book Capturing Profit with Technical Analysis. On the weekly price chart of Gannett Company, we have finished an Elliott impulse wave up that started March 2009. This is both wave brackets 1 and the start of a new long term up move, or the end of a first correction wave brackets A. Now we have had already a correction wave A down and correction wave B up should normally be close to completion. Basically I am expecting a correction wave C down. On the weekly indicators chart you can see negative divergences between price tops and indicator tops. The up move of recent weeks is also not supported by volume. Reason why I am expecting a further down correction. On the daily price chart of Gannett Company we may be finishing an Elliott correction wave B up but there is no real turning point yet. However, the bearish engulfing pattern of the last two candles may be the start of this turning point. Note also the last brown uptrend line that is broken with the closing price on Friday. If and only if price is making the downturn now, we can make a price projection target with a Fibonacci projection and an Andrews pitchfork. The target would then be $10 by the end of April. On the daily indicators chart you will notice short term divergences between price and some indicators. This is confirming a possible downturn. On the hourly price chart of Gannett Company price finds support on the 100 hours red dashed simple moving average. Price will probably move back up to the 50 hours blue average before continuing the down move. Next expected support in the down move will be the red 200 hours moving average around $15. On the hourly indicators chart of Gannett Company indicators are oversold. Therefore the short term will possibly be an up move. Conclusion for now is that we may be at a turning point down. But because of the flat move the last nine days I am still reluctant to open a short position now. I will wait for some confirmation of the bearish engulfing pattern. If you want to follow up my trades real time you can use the RSS link on my website stoccata.org. You will automatically receive a message when a new trade is triggered. This is the end of last week's overview swing trading the stock GCI. Idea is that you follow the trade evolution and that you systematically learn applying all technical analysis techniques. You can receive trade signals during the week via an RSS link at stoccata.org. Tell your friends about these videos and while visiting my website order my book Capturing Profit with Technical Analysis. See you in the next video for more swing trading GCI.